My 600 pound life deaths, cast members that passed away after the show. My 600 pound life has been a great show about the journeys of the people who struggle with weight. It documents the ills and goods, the before and after of those whose weight defines them. The show has set an example that nothing is impossible and sometimes, having extra weight could mean a series of health diseases. Hence, the show showered attention on those who might need inspiration and a helping hand. However, sometimes life gets unfair. So, tune in with us to know which cast members took the door to my 600-pound life deaths. 1. Henry Foots, 2013, 6 May The Texas native became fan favorite when he joined the show. His story of weight gain started in childhood. Henry loved to eat. However, his mother never stopped him from overeating. Therefore, growing up, Henry Foots got overweight. His body mass reached 750 pounds but with a strict diet, exercise, and gastric bypass surgery, he achieved his goal and weighed 275 pounds however, Henry joined the tragic list of my 600 life deaths, as he passed away during skin removal surgery. But the exact reason for Foote's death is not related to the surgery, which is unknown. 2. Robert Bushel, November 15, 2017 Keen viewers of the show must remember Robert Bushel. The late star joined the show to lose enough before his wedding to his fiancée Catherine Lemansky. The former reality star did great as he lost 124 pounds after the doctors removed his lymphedema after the surgery. Similarly, the doctors also removed excess fat from his body. He lost 340 pounds in the process. But, Robert got addicted to painkillers. And that led him to no exercise. He died of a heart attack. 3. James Bonner, August 2, 2018 Death is inevitable but taking one's life is not. James Bonner had the most shocking my 600-pound life deaths. The reality star had a fractured relationship with food after losing his leg in an accident. Therefore, food and alcohol weighed 612 pounds however, James did great on the show. He weighed 316 pounds before his death. Well, he did die tragically. He thanked everyone who stood by him and supported him during the journey. Shockingly, Bonner committed suicide the following week. He died of a self-inflicted wound shot. 4. Lisa Fleming, August 23, 2018 Lisa's life-turning events made her look for comfort in food. Fleming witnessed her brother's murder and her parents' divorce. Hence, when she joined, she weighed 700 pounds more so, she could not take care of herself, and maggots grew into folds of her skin. Unfortunately, Lisa lost her life at 50 due to a fatal heart attack. 5. Kelly Mason, February 15, 2019 Kelly Mason struggled with a lot of things except weight gain. She had diabetes, blood clot, high blood pressure, a thyroid problem, and a pulmonary embolism. Hence, life was hard for Kelly. She made the room a happy place with her jokes. But before her 42nd birthday, Mason died of heart failure. 6. Sean Milliken, 17 February 2019 Next on the list of my 600-pound life deaths is Sean Milliken, who appeared in season 4 of my 600-liter life. The TLC celeb had a strained relationship with his father. Similarly, his parents divorced, and it led him to eat stressed. During the show, he gained 900 pounds more so, his mother encouraged him to eat unhealthy foods. After that, his mother's death happened, and soon Flood destroyed his belongings. Milliken once weighed 1,003 pounds on the show. But an infection led to a cardiac arrest, and he painfully lost his life. 7. James King, April 3, 2020 James ate food due to frustration, and his family matters tend to add up in his life. His weight started fluctuating greatly. Similarly, James did not cooperate with the doctor. Hence, the show dismissed him. When James King appeared for the second time, he weighed 840 pounds he had health issues such as sepsis, anemia, kidney failure, lung infections, etc. James King died at the age of 49. 8. Coliasa McMillan, September 22, 2020 Coliasa McMillan turned to stress eating to escape from reality. Her fiancé died in a car crash, and she couldn't hold the news. Moreover, she gained weight, and the doctors could not operate on her. Coliasa did get the surgeries, 
but one surgery led to a severe complication, and she died. The reason for Coliasa McMillan's is unknown and she is sadly one of the my 600 pound life deaths. 9. Renee Biron, May 14, 2021 Biron was one of the most famous television personalities ever. The former star became a fetish model as people paid her to watch her eat. However, her fame was short-lived when the doctors revealed she had Guillain-Barre syndrome. The cause of Rene Biron's death is unknown, but people say it's because of the Guillain syndrome. 10. Gina Krasley, August 1, 2021 Gina joined the show in season 8 with her wife, Beth. As a child, Gina did not receive proper love and attention. Hence, she turned to food for comfort. However, the 31-year-old, Gina Krasley died surrounded by her family. She had filed a lawsuit against the show's producers right before she left the world. 11. Destiny Lachey, February 2022 Destiny was the first transgender person on the show. She struggled with depression and didn't see herself alive. She did well in her weight loss journey. Unfortunately, she passed away way too soon and her death is one of the most tragic my 600 pound life deaths. Lachey struggled with the TLC as she filed a million dollar lawsuit against them for making her shave her beard. Hence, this was the list of people that tragically lost their lives after their appearance on TLC's My 600 Pound Life. Tragically, they left the world too soon. TVSS will keep them in our hearts and prayers. Keep coming back to TV season and spoilers for more such content. If you like our videos, press the like button and subscribe. Also hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching, see you next time.